What's up guys, it's Baby Hay and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley, and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I'm just gonna be filming a weekend in my life. I am out on my balcony right now, just enjoying the morning, it's Saturday, having some iced coffee, and if you guys missed my last video, I shared how I made this. It's so simple and easy, but I love having iced coffee, especially in this weather, because it's already, I think, 102 degrees out. But I also wanted to give you guys an update. So on Wednesday, which wasn't that long ago, I got lip filler. They're pretty bruised and still swollen. So I just kind of wanted to share with you guys what they're looking like. So you can see on this side, they're definitely more bruised than the other side. But they are starting to heal. They're not as sore anymore. Obviously still a bit swollen, but it'll start going down. It still takes two weeks and it's only been like three days. But I'm going to finish getting ready. So I just use this IT Cosmetics CC Cream. And I wear this shade either medium or medium tan, just depending on, you know, the time of year or if I'm using more self-tanner. So I have two shades of it. Today I just put on the medium. And I'm just going to put on a little bit of concealer. I have the Laura Mercier concealer and this is in the shade 1W. I think it's called the like Flawless Fusion Concealer. I do the most under my eyes and I do that first so that it can set. And this is not my full makeup routine. This is just like a quick couple minutes where if I I'm just gonna run some errands and wanna have like a little bit on my face. Then I have my eyebrows microbladed, but I just use a little bit of this Benefit brow gel. Back at Ikea, getting my TV stand. One, yeah, one and two. Right, right here? Yeah, that's it. It's one and two. Connor is coming in clutch and <laughs> helping me because I cannot carry any of this. Is this 28? Yeah. Now we're getting my uh, frame. Okay. No white. We're back from Ikea and we got everything on the ground, just in the middle of my apartment. But we'll be able to set it all up later. I'm so thankful that Connor was able to help me because all of that stuff is really heavy and I also don't have a truck. And when I went on Ikea.com to try to do like delivery, they weren't delivering those items. So I wouldn't have been able to get them. So I'm super, super thankful that he was able to come and help me carry everything up. And then he said he can come back later to help me build it. But it is now one o'clock and I am so hungry. I haven't eaten anything. I'm gonna make a smoothie because I don't have any yogurt and I need to go to the store for that. I'm gonna do a different kind of smoothie this time because I've already used everything that I have for like the green smoothie that I was making. So I think today I'm gonna do a mango smoothie because I had bought these mango chunks and I have bananas. I've never made this smoothie before so I'm just kind of making it up. <laughs> and then I'm just doing Mango chunks. And I'll add a little bit of almond milk. Adding some cinnamon. Okay, now I'm gonna try it. Whoa! <laughs> That's so good! Oh my gosh! Tastes like the tropics. Mmm. Mango and banana. Such a good combination. Wow. So I just added a spoonful of peanut butter. I recently got this one at Trader Joe's. It is the um, creamy unsalted peanut butter from Unblanched Peanuts. You have to stir it. And then I just added a tablespoon of chia seeds. My mango banana smoothie turned out perfectly. I just topped it with a little bit of coconut flakes and then I put it in my little wine glass but I'm so happy with how this turned out. Probably going to be one of my new favorite tropical smoothies. I also wanted to tell you guys about my nightstands in the mail. So I did a poll on Instagram on which nightstands I should order and it was so closely tied like it was by 12 votes difference and 
and that was by the very end of it so it was just like 50 50 basically the whole entire time and i can link both of the nightstands that i was like considering getting but i ended up going with not the ones that i showed you from ashley furniture when i went to the store that was the culver batch nightstands i ended up going with these ones from pottery barn i'm gonna open up the box probably in a little bit just to kind of see how many pieces need to be like screwed together so we'll do that i can't believe i actually am gonna have like a whole bedroom this weekend not like the whole thing but it's definitely coming along so i have both the nightstands over here so i'm gonna try to I think just slide them into my room and then I'll be able to open them up over there because I feel like if I open them up over here, it's like too far from my room. The boxes are pretty big though. So how great would it be if these were partially assembled? Don't you think? I mean, that's like the size of a nightstand. I'm getting my shirt all dirty. Ugh. Panic! For the moment of truth. Is it upside down? <laughs> okay, that's not it. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes! I can't wait. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get my shirt dirty. I'm taking it off. Okay, just threw on this black tank top. So now if it gets dirty, I won't be able to see it. And I think if I just tilt this over. Whew. Wow, Pottery Barn is saving my life with the fact that this is built. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. That is so freaking cute. These are literally perfect. I'm so happy I went with these ones. Finally saying goodbye to this cardboard box nightstand. Oh, they are so cute. It is called the Brooklyn Nightstand from Pottery Barn. And I love that the hardware on it is black because I'm going with black in my apartment. And on the bottom it's open so it makes the room just look a little bit more open. I can put books under there or decor or just make it look really cute. And then this top on it is so nice because it won't leave water stains and you can just wipe it and clean it so much easier. So that's a really cool feature to the nightstand. But this is what it looks like with two of them. The bed isn't centered yet, so I need to move that over and obviously still build the bed frame and put that up. But it's definitely coming together and I'm so happy to upgrade from my cardboard box and just have two nightstands. I'm really hungry now from all of that unboxing. So I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs because I don't know why I just feel really in the mood for that. And I'm cutting up an onion, but I wanna use my new vegetable, oh here it is, vegetable chopper. So I cut off like the sides of it and then I peeled the outside. So I'm gonna see how this thing works. All right, here we go. <laughs> no, I think it's too big. I think I'm gonna cut it. Whoa. <laughs> that was cool. And it's perfect because I can just bag up the rest of it and use it for later. So I have two eggs in here, and then I'm just frying up some peppers and onion. I also threw in some tomato, and then I just put some everything but the bagel seasoning on top. The everything but the bagel seasoning is just so good. Mmm, it gives it the perfect amount of flavor. This part is not very exciting, 
but I'm going to be making my way to the trash chute so that I can throw away all of this garbage before I start opening up the next things because I don't want all of the garbage and boxes to accumulate. So I got all the boxes down to the dumpster, all the trash out through the trash chute, and then Caitlin said that she was going to the grocery store and asked if I wanted to come because they're going to barbecue tonight. So I'm going to the grocery store to pick up a couple things with her for barbecuing this evening. I picked up one avocado. It's really hard grocery shopping for one person because I don't want to buy too much and then it go bad. Then I got a piece of salmon. Grill that tonight with some red potatoes. And then I also love corn on the cob, especially when it's grilled on the barbecue. And they were doing five corn on the cob for $2, which is so cheap. And then I got two things of kombucha. Haven't tried this one yet. It is the Cosmic Cranberry, so I'll probably try this one tonight. And I think I'm gonna start opening up some Ikea stuff and put that together before I head up to the grills to barbecue. Oh, there we go. There's another piece. Yeah, there's two, I think. It's just confusing because there's no words. I know, I hate that. It literally says that this is like a two-person job. So we need a third person? I'm gonna only have a person. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this picture. This guy looks sad and then he has his friend there and he's happy. Oh my gosh. There's dots here, so I think this is the middle. Oh, smart. One piece. Okay. I've never really had to like hammer something. Yeah. <laughs> Like, when you ever have to hammer anything like, in your life? I was like, dang, she's really gotten the hammer skills down. <laughs> <laughs> one more. One ringed. And one looks double ringed. So it looks like the one ringed goes facing out. Okay. We're about to put this part. <laughs> <laughs> we should have screwed these before we put the slats on, so she had to do some magic okay, and. Come pass me the pieces. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to lift up down here a little more? Yeah. Got it? Okay. Whoa. You have a bed. Oh my gosh. Yay! I have a freaking bed. It looks really cute. It's actually cute. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is so really cute. Much. So cheap and it's perfect. And I'll just make the bed later. We can go barbecue. Okay. I'm still hungry. I don't even care. Okay. I I love it. It's amazing. And I'm starving. So let's go. Okay. <laughs> Got everything prepped for the grill. We have the potatoes in here. Zucchini in there. Corn. Salmon. And then the grill is heating up. You can see such a nice view of the strip at night. Just so pretty. Best sound I've ever done. <laughs> I know it's been such a long day. We were so productive today, though. Honestly, yeah, we were. Like, so much stuff got done. I know your I house think. is finally gonna have like furniture. I'm so happy. Yeah, this one always needs to be the same. There you go. Thank you. I'm excited to try this flavor because it's the one I haven't tried before. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. How is it? Mmm, like I love this one. Discovered a new favorite. Wait, this one might be one of my new favorites. Really? Yeah, it's actually really I'm good. I'm gonna try it. It's like not too sweet. Love that. Yeah, right? That's really this good. It's really good. We are eating pretty late, so it's pretty dark out, but it looks so good. Chefed it up tonight on the grill. Now we're pros. I got battle wounds though. I know, you kind of burned, my, burned yourself on <laughs> the grill. <laughs> but it looks good. Now we're ready to eat. I look amazing. My hair. Yeah, you do though. No, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, your eyelashes look so good and your eyebrow aches. And skin, wow. My, look at my hair. <laughs> it looks fine. My hair is, what is that? Well, mine looks like this because I slept with my ponytail. Oh shit. <laughs> I think I took it out in the middle of the night. Uh huh. But it's like, now it's like wants to stay stuck up, but it can't. So right. It's just, honestly, it looks voluminous. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> it's 
we had our first sleepover last night in my bed. In an actual bed? <laughs> yeah, in an actual bed. I was telling Caitlin, I closed my eyes last night and I could tell that I was above the ground. Like, <laughs> I could just feel it. I was like, I am so much higher up. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, such a good feeling. I was just calling because I ordered a couch um, a while ago and I was just wondering if there was any way to check the update on when it would be delivered. As soon as we can come out will be Wednesday, the 5th. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. No problem, no problem, glad to go. I know, me too, I'm so excited. Okay, awesome, well thank you so much. Very, very welcome. Any other concerns for me today aside from delivery? Um, no, this was fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have gone better. <laughs> it's Sunday, so that means cleaning day. I put my bedding in the wash. Once the bedding is all on, I'll show you guys the full effect with the bedding and my room kind of all set up. Now it's time for me to start looking for a mirror in here, some lamps. So we're just doing like the finishing touches, which is a really good feeling. I'm gonna shower, cause my hair is crazy. <laughs> and then kinda start getting ready for the day. I have some other, you know, vacuuming to do and just wipe things down so that it's all clean. I showered and blow dried my hair, but I went to Sephora a couple days ago and I picked up my dry shampoo. This is my absolute favorite one. It's the Detox Dry Bar dry shampoo and while I was there I ended up picking up this other one it is the triple sec by dry bar so it's a three-in-one finishing spray and it says that it texturizes amplifies and refreshes so this is kind of a good one if your hair is like already clean and you don't want dry shampoo but you want like a little more volume it also smells really good this one I got the lush scent and then in the other one I got the original scent Caitlin went home to get ready. We both just wanted to like shower and collect ourselves. So she's gonna come back over in a little bit to make breakfast with me. Here is the big reveal of my bed with the nightstands. Just got this plain white bed from Ikea that was, I think like $180, which was way cheaper than a lot of the other beds that I was looking at. And I just love how clean and white it looks, especially with the contrast of the nightstands. Originally, I had really wanted a white upholstered bed frame, and I still do really want one. But the thing is, they take so long to get. A lot of the ones that I was looking at take six to you know nine weeks to order, and that's gonna be too long. I've already waited six weeks for my couch to come, and it's still not here, and it feels like it's taking forever. So this is perfect for now. Made waffles again for breakfast with the cute little waffle maker. Cut up some strawberries and put some blueberries on the side. Yum. We thought the TV stand would maybe be a little easier, but I think we're wrong. There's so many more pieces and it just seems way more confusing. Also, the directions on this thing is 42 steps long and the last one was 13 steps. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a real deal. So loud. Okay, what's next? I think the brackets on the. Yeah. gonna go take some Instagram pictures and if you guys saw my last day in my life video I wore these shorts from Princess Polly sorry you can't really see let me tilt this down 
And it was a really cute outfit with this black bucket hat, but I never got any photos in it, and I really like this outfit. So I just put this back on to wear for one picture, and then I have another outfit that I'm gonna wear for a second photo. I need to grab my bucket hat. I leave it up here in this top basket. I just love these baskets, but yeah, this is the bucket hat. And I just, such a vibe. And then I also have this bucket hat in the tan color, which is also really cute. So they're literally just the same thing, but I got two colors. I think they even have more colors. I think they have like an army green maybe and some other ones, but they're just so fun to wear. I feel like they make outfits just really cute. And then you're also covering your face from the sun, which is good to do to protect your skin. So many advantages <laughs> to these little bucket hats. We pause the TV stand because there is so many pieces. It takes so long, just so many steps. And it's not that it's a big deal or anything. We're, we don't mind building it. It's just that it's taking up some of the daytime that we have. And we could totally do that at night when it's dark out or another day. And we have like the weekend to go take pictures and just run some errands and stuff. So it's just better to pause on that because we didn't really realize it was going to take that long. And then we'll get back to working on it either later tonight or we can finish it this week. Second outfit is not happening because this hair is so sweaty, so bright, can't even see me. <laughs> oh, it's 103. We're dying. We're dying. We're dying. It's so hot. Like can't. it's grumpy hot. It is. It's like you don't want to do. Anything. You don't want to take pictures in this. We can take pool pictures. I'm down to go to the pool. Not. Not like I'm gonna be like in the water. It's yeah, so hot. it's so hot. My hair is so sweaty on the sides now. So relaxing. Ooh, I'm exhausted. We're just like always doing stuff. We go, go, go all the time. So for dinner tonight, I'm making something kind of fun and different. I decided I'm gonna do a homemade pizza. I bought this crust at Trader Joe's. It is the cauliflower pizza crust. I've had this once before and it's really good. It's made with cauliflower and corn flour, so it's gluten free. So the cooking instructions are that I'm just going to bake one side of the crust for 10 to 12 minutes, flip it over, bake the other side for 10 to 12 minutes, and then you just add on all of your toppings and then you can broil that or just bake that for a few more minutes so that that doesn't like get overcooked. I don't know why I've just really been craving pizza lately and I bought a new cheese at Trader Joe's that's also dairy free. So I first added this pizza sauce. This is the one from Trader Joe's. Now I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese. And then for the toppings, I just did tomato, red bell pepper, mushrooms, onion, and zucchini. So I'll just pop this into the oven, let it bake for a couple minutes, and then it will be done. It turned out really good. The red pepper flakes just give it enough spice. And then the cheese is a really good cheese. I definitely recommend this one if you like mozzarella cheese and you are dairy free. It's also a really good crust. And the fact that it's made with cauliflower and corn flour is so cool. And then I'm having the other half of the Cosmic Cranberry Kombucha. And now I'm just gonna work on editing some more videos. <laughs> so nice sleeping in an actual bed. My mattress is really comfortable, but it makes such a difference sleeping in a bed frame. And it's so nice having nightstands just to put stuff on. I feel like this weekend really was like a big transformation for my room. Just so much furniture for it that I didn't have. And now I can focus on the decor. I have like most of my furniture now, all of the big pieces. So it's nice to start thinking about the little things things that I can get. I want to get two more pillows for my bed, just like plain white ones, and then probably put this body pillow on the spare bed. But I'm so happy with how things are coming together. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it this weekend. Hopefully by the next video or a couple videos after, I'll have my couch. But don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.